Hey, what's up guys, D-Legend here. So we are at a new uh, day, so we have a new banner, finally. Um, but also really quickly after Sephiroth left, it is Supernova Key Art 19. And so this medal is very similar to uh, Sephiroth. It's just the uh, upright magic version. Uh, what it does though is deal a few more hits. I think it does three hits. Let's have a look at the, ban or at the uh, notice. So, we... six hits, never mind. But yeah, six hits does the same buffs as Sephiroth, except in magic and upright, instead of reverse in power. And what he does is have supernova. So this is a second metal that has supernova. It's pretty darn useful in PvP, obviously. Um, not a bad looking metal, but I can't recommend it just because of how poor the banner is in terms of other materials that you can get from it. So you can also get yourself a Prime Maleficent. And Prime, Malef Prime Maleficent isn't a bad metal per se, but it's also not a fantastic metal. Um, it would be good for like raiding potentially, or just for um, PvE Colosseum, because it does uh, a super effective attack on every enemy of every attribute, so that's nice. But it is a reverse magic metal, and that is one of the harder metals to place on Keyblades. In a lot of situations, actually. Uh, and so, I honestly can't recommend this banner, because you, while you can get Prime Maleficent in 5 pulls, that's all you're getting from the 5 pulls, really. You're not guaranteed a Supernova Key Art 19, um, other than the trait metal, obviously, and you're not guaranteed a uh, seven star metal other than that. Obviously, you can still pull seven star medals from this banner. It's the rates aren't too bad, but don't be looking for that per se. Um, so it's very similar to the Sephiroth banner in that sense, but I'm pretty sure I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think <clears throat> Prime Maleficent is 120 pet points at base, so that's the only difference between this banner and the cloud banner, and so I guess in that sense it would be worth it. Um, if you are only like one or two uh, medals away from a rank 11 pet, I would probably recommend this, but for people like me who are a few medals away from a rank 11 pet, I would not recommend pulling for this just to get a rank 11 pet. Um, in the past, we've gotten uh, rank 11 pets, I mean, rank, okay, back when rank 9 pets were the, the best thing and where you could get, um, what was the thing with rank 9 pets? Or, yeah, rank, rank 9 pets, I think, the thing was, uh, HP recovery? Yeah, so I think that was a big deal back then, to get to a rank 9 pet. Um, but back then, there were also medals that dropped in, in, a, in a cluster. And so there was one banner that had a bunch of medals that, you could, that were guaranteed to drop from it. And I think one of them was HD Armor of Uraka, Arrakis. Um, there was also... What else was there? A few other medals, I don't really remember what else there was. Uh, yeah, okay, this guy was there. 22 Art 2 was in there. Um, and Yuna Riku and Pain, for sure. Those were, those were some of the medals that were in that banner, specifically, and it was pretty neat that they dropped them in a cluster, because then, then you could get... Rank 11 pet pretty easily from pulling just once or like a couple times from that banner. Not a rank 11 pet, rank 9 pet back then. So that was pretty huge. Um, so maybe they'll do something like that in the near future here as well for us. Where we can get a rank nine, uh, 11 pet soon. Because it's hugely beneficial for PvE and PvP Coliseum. Uh, along with other content as well potentially. So yeah, I, I mean... That's, that's one thing to consider when you're deciding whether or not to pull from this banner. Um, it's not confirmed, though, that this is a 120 pet point pet uh, metal, so 
Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure the, uh... Did that Neku banner go away? Oh. Okay, Neko and Joshua banner. I think this medal is also 120 pet points. Although I'm not sure if it says or not in the banner. Nah, it doesn't say here. I guess I can ask my party members and confirm later, but... Um, I'll let you guys know, I guess. And... Yeah, that's all there is really to talk about, I guess. Um, skills to throw banners, I would skip all of these skills. Except maybe if you really needed... Um, AB7 max for a copy metal, let's say, that's not a bad option. But other than that, nothing crazy. I would still buy the avatar boards over those things. <clears throat> uh, these boards are all really good. If I had to pick one to, to pull from, or I mean to, to buy, it would probably have to be the werewolf boards just because from a practical standpoint, um, these have the best skills in them, in, in my opinion. The AB7 max SP0 is very good. And the AB7 Max Lux Plus is also very good. Um, the DB4 Max is also crucial if you don't have at least two medals with DB4 Max already. So um, consider getting the Werewolf Board if you guys need some skills. And maybe the... And this board as well. Oh. Because um, this board has AB7 max sp0 gauge um attack boost six max lux plus plus which is huge for uh raiding weeks for raid weeks and stuff when you're trying to rank really high and second chance four if you guys need a copy of that so consider getting these things i would probably skip the doctor and nurse boards for this halloween um they do have four skills but they're not all that useful unless you don't have triple threat on a couple medals already that you pulled from previous manners uh, other than that though, not much to it, not much else going on, there's a few proud mode quests that just got released as well, and we also got the rewards for completing the banishing quests, so that's cool. Um, nothing crazy though, obviously there's no jewels involved or anything, but here I got some daily logins saved and got my total login bonus for hitting 900 days, so I'm just going to collect all my jewels here. If you're wondering where all my jewels went, I decided to uh, to do a couple pulls on the Cephi banner right before uh, the banner ended. So I think I waited till like the last couple of hours, I don't really remember. And I pulled twice more, I think, in total. So there went all my jewels. It was not worth it. It was a spur of the moment thing. Don't recommend doing it. Um, and yeah, as usual, lesson learned, I guess. Um, pulling sporadically is never a good strategy in this game. It's usually people who actually plan out their jewel spending that benefit the most, especially if you're free to play like me. So, uh, anyways, yeah, catch you all in the next one. I'm struggling here in PvP, by the way, because of the uh, Lady Luck. I'm just absolute garbage with it. Anyways, catch you all soon. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see something else or what you guys want to see um, in my next video. And yeah, I hope we'll get our high score challenge for Timeless River Sora soon. Um, it's a very good medal, and I'll talk about it a bit a bit more when it comes out. But for now, I will leave you guys at this, and uh, yeah, catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, guys.